Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to learn about composition, that is grammar composition. In that, we are going to learn letter writing. Before beginning this lecture, I would like to show you one video where we will understand how the Indian Postal Service works. Correct? So, before beginning this lecture, let us see this video. Postal Service was founded on 1st April 1774. Its slogan is Dark Seva, Jan Seva. India Post provides employment to over 4.6 lakh people and is the third largest employer in India. 1.5 lakh post offices across the country which includes 1.3 lakh post offices in rural areas. There are more than 33.03 crore account holders of the saving scheme of the department. World's first official airmail flight took place in India on 18th February 1911. The outstanding balance under all the saving schemes and saving certificates in post offices are over 6,19,317.44 crore rupees. The department has 38 heritage buildings having architectural value. World's highest post office is in Hikmi, Himachal Pradesh, operated by India Post at a height of 15,500 feet. In August 2015, RBI granted an in-principle approval to India Post to set up payments bank. To ensure safe and timely delivery of goods, the department has signed an agreement for supply and installation of GPS devices in 990 mail vans. GPS devices have already been installed in 926 mail vans. India Post ATMs have been installed in more than 500 locations across the country. So formal letter is only for the official purpose and informal letter we write it for a or uh, we can write it to our relatives. So this formal letter we can write it to the industry, to the bookseller, to the for applying a job, correct, or for uh, applying a school lead in your school. So these are the various types of letter that we can write it in formal type of letter. So let us learn what exactly is the formal letter and how to write this formal letter. So let's begin to understand and to write this formal letter. So let us understand the formal letter, correct? So here I have given a sim simple letter and through this letter we will understand how to write a formal letter. So what is the topic of the letter is? Write a letter to the principal of your school requesting leave to attend a wedding in your family. So you are writing this letter to your principal where you are asking for a leave. Correct? So let us try to understand the format of this letter. So you can see here, okay, the box where I have written address. So whose address? Suppose if I am writing this letter to my principal, so then I have to write my address. Correct? So here D16 Shanti apartment, station road, Bursar and I have written the date. So you can see here, I have given this highlighter in order to understand whose address? The sender. The one who is sending this letter. After that what we have written? The date should be written below the address. So you can see here the address which we have given of the person who is writing this letter and followed by the date. 
So what is the date? 11 June 2020. So here we are writing a letter to our principal. By writing this letter, you will come to know whether you are going to get a holiday for your wedding in a family. Right? So if you write it properly, you will get surely the holiday. So now let us see what is the next step. Right? So the next step is that we are writing below the date we write the receiver's designation. So to whom you are writing this letter? That is the principal. So what is the designation? The principal. After that, we have to write the name of the company or the school. Correct? So since we are writing in the school, so we are writing the address of our school. That is Saraswati Education and Medical Trust. Where? Borsa. So you can see here I have written the name of the city that is Borsa. After writing these two things, you will come to know the letter to whom you are writing. Who is made over here? The person who is writing this letter and the second one who is received. So now let us see the next one that is to whom this letter you are writing. It is a principal that is principal man. So dear man, right? So your celebration starts with dear man or you can also write respected man. Correct, honorable madam. So that is suitable for you. But here we are writing dear madam. That is celebration, dear sir or dear madam. Okay? So the person who is reading this letter will come to know this. You are referring this letter directly to the person who is reading this letter. Now, after that, you need to keep it in mind that the subject. Why we are writing this subject? Because the moment the principal or the person who is reading this letter will come to know what is the main subject of this letter. So what is the subject? Request for leave. So the moment the principal or the person who is reading this letter will come to know the summary of this letter. So that is you are writing this letter only for the leave. Correct? So therefore it is very necessary that you should write a proper subject. Correct? Now, after writing this subject, let us move towards the main body part of the letter. So what is the main body part of the letter? Where you are going to introduce yourself to the one who is reading this letter. So therefore, I am Neil Patel. Correct? So the moment principal will read this letter, you will come to know, okay, this letter is written by Neil Patel from a student of class 5th division 3. So you are giving a proper way to tell the principal that you are referring to your class also. So when a principal wants to communicate this letter to someone, so he can communicate to your direct class teacher. So let us see the next body part. I have to attend a wedding in my family on 2nd July. As per the subject, you have written your reason for writing this letter. I would like to request you to grant me leave for 4 days from 1st to 4th July. So in this body paragraph, you have to be very specific and you have to be very just in order to portray or in order to convey your message to the person whom you are writing. Since I will be missing school for 4 days, I have asked one of my friends for his notebooks when I come back. So why you are telling this? Because you are giving the assurance to the principal that once you come back, okay, you are going to do your work. So therefore, there are chances of you getting the holidays. I assure you that I will complete my work once I come back. So you are giving again the assurance that once you come back, so you will do your work. So in this body part, you have to write in a proper way so that the person who is reading this letter will come to know at once the letter for what reason the person has sent it. Okay? After writing this letter, let us see what we have to do. We have to write a conclusion. Okay? In this conclusion, you have to make a point that you are writing a conclusion and you are asking for the reply from the person who, to whom you have sent. I would be very grateful if the leave is granted. Correct? So, you are trying to conclude your letter by leaving a note that I will be very grateful if the letter is granted. So, after reading this conclusion,
then the principal is going to reply to you whether your leave is cancelled or not or whether it is sanctioned or not. After this, you can see here, at the end of the letter, you should write the subscription followed by your name. So, the subscription also you can say that you can write your sign, but it is better that you write your name at the end of the letter. So, you can write here, you are sincerely, you are obediently, you are faithfully, correct? So, these are the proper terms in order to conclude your letter. So, here, the who is writing this letter? Neil Patel. Therefore, we have to write his name at the end. So, at the end of the letter, you should write the subscription followed by your name. So, this is a perfect formal letter format where you need to follow everything in line. Now, let us scroll down and I will tell you when you write this letter, okay, I have written in this American format, not in a British, British format. So, therefore, in the older days, this address used to come to the right corner of your page. But now here, everything I have written in one line. So, you can see here, the address has started in one line. Correct? After finishing your, uh, the address over here, you have to leave one line. Why? Because this is the proper format. Okay? When you type it also in the computer, you have to follow this format. So, you can see here, I have le left the space. Even I have left the space. And the first letter of each address written in capital. Because that is the rule. Whenever you write a letter, the first letter of the starting of the letter has to be in capital. So let us see in the body paragraph. It is not as I have told you because the sentence has begun with I. Here the sentence has not been, therefore it is a small capital, small letter. So again you can see here the letter again has started with capital letter. So this is the perfect format where you can write a letter to your principal or for an official purpose. Correct? As we have seen in the beginning of the video that how our Indian Postal Service work. But nowadays due to the various technologies we are not writing letter to anyone. But it is better that we should learn the proper way in order to communicate. Because I think personally when you write a letter on a paper and you send it to someone, it has got more value than you send a text on your WhatsApp or on your Facebook because when you write a letter by your hand, the person appreciates it. Correct? So, thank you my dear students. Okay? I am going to send you this format. Okay? So, you can study this format and after this format, you can write a simple letter by changing the subject of the letter so you will get a better understanding of the letter writing. Thank you.